tonight, that doorknob. Definitely still in the frame. What if we all move over a little bit? Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. I'm 20 years old. That's actually ridiculous. I'm 20. Um, so cheers to that. Let's um And I can't undo them. Oh, there she goes. So um cheers <laughs> to being a full-blown, fully fledged adult. I'm 20 years old. Do I look 20? No, I look about 15. But that's fine, because I'll look 20 when I'm 30. Anyways, so it is my 20th birthday, it's the 6th of January, and I'm gonna just do a get ready with me. I'm gonna have a drink even though it's almost 12 o'clock, so that's okay, right? Uh, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I've asked for some questions and topics to discuss, but I'm um, just gonna have a chat. Just gonna try and transform this face. Obviously we're in lockdown, so this is where I'll be for the rest of the day. Uh, I might venture downstairs and see my family. Um, it's kind of sad. It is kind of sad, but we've got to do what we've got to do. <laughs> it's warm and it's really gross. Anyways, let's get started because um, you might be able to see. My tan is a little bit dodgy. Um, I tanned last night primarily for an Instagram, which is really embarrassing to admit, but we love a bit of honesty on this channel. Happy birthday. Thanks. <laughs> Look, now this is who I get to spend my birthday with, my sister who's at school. Hey! Online hey. school, very exciting. Oh, look at the colour difference. Ella, look, look at my hair, it's so greasy. Oh wow, she's oh, wow, fake she's fake oh, Look at that. Well, that was a bit of bitching that we're not going to include. Wow, this is just a wild thing. I feel like when I turned 18, obviously that's when you're like legally an adult, but I don't think I felt like an adult at all. When I turned 18, I was still at school, still living at home, still doing my A-levels, like nothing changed. Whereas I feel like now, I feel like 20 is like really an adult. Like I'm not a teenager anymore, what the hell? I feel like I've lived my entire life as a teenager, right? <laughs> Does that make any sense? Why do people find it funny to post horrible photos of you on your birthday? It's really just not funny. I'm actually upset. That is the worst photo of me I've ever seen. Let's see what people wanted me to talk about. I got quite a lot of responses. Let's just appreciate this. Okay, there's a lot of questions about uni. Um, I feel like I'm just a little uni vlogger now. Like, it's all I ever talk about. But to be fair, it's like the only really thing going on in my life. So we'll keep talking about it. Okay, so is uni really worth it? During these times, these unprecedented, cr crazy times. I mean, I, honestly, I don't really know any different. I only started uni this year. So like, everything I know about uni is like in terms of like Corona times. It hasn't been the normal uni experience at all. We've been in lockdown for like the majority of the time we've been at uni, which sucks. It's really not good. I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm not going to drop out, mainly because I took a gap year last year, so I don't want to be two years behind. And also, like, I've started now. I've made my friends. Like, the, the, I just wouldn't restart. I, I'm By next September, I think it's going to be fine. And so, no, I think right now, uni isn't worth the money. Uni isn't worth the accommodation fees or the tuition fees. But yeah, like, I'm not going to... I don't think it's worth the money, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, like, drop out and start again because it's not worth my time. Like, I'm still gonna get my degree at the end of the day and hopefully the end of, like, the last time this year will be okay. If not, next year, fingers crossed. Someone asked why my friend dropped out of uni. Um, so if you don't know, my friend Molly dropped out of uni. Molly, if you're watching, you're famous. People care about your life um, more than they care about mine. She did drop out of uni. She dropped out of uni, like, two weeks in because she just didn't, like her course and I, it just wasn't really what she was expecting I don't think and so she did want to move to my course actually but there wasn't any room at my uni so she has just dropped out and she's 
working at the moment and she's i think she's looking for apprenticeships in the field that she wants to go into but yeah i think she pretty sure she got all her money back so to the girl who asked this i think just make sure you're actually like you know what you're getting yourself in for for your course give it a go i mean obviously you'll never know if you don't try people are asking some very inappropriate questions everyone's saying happy birthday thank you very much okay let's move away let's move away from university now are you where you thought you'd be at 20? This is a really good question. The answer is, I don't know. I'm at uni, which is where I thought I would be when I was 20. Not doing the course I thought I was gonna be doing. I really thought I was gonna be doing some really academic course, like uh, medicine. Um, can you imagine me doing medicine? I really can't. One sec, let me just put this concealer all over my face. Yeah, I had very high hopes for myself. I took biology, chemistry and maths at A level, uh, really thinking I was gonna be some kind of doctor. I don't know where I got that from. It's very interesting, Gemma, but I've told this story like a hundred times before, but I did loads of work experience. Absolutely hated it. Definitely wasn't for me. And then I was gonna do psychology, and then I was like, actually, why am I doing psychology? What the hell am I gonna do with a psychology degree? And didn't really have any idea what I wanted to do with my life until I got here, and I kind of figured it out and reapplied. And now I'm doing management and marketing, which I actually really like. I mean, so far we haven't really done much of the we haven't really done much of the marketing side, which is obviously the side I'm more interested in because everyone has to do like the core management modules first and then we get to choose and then I'll obviously do more marketing ones. So I'm excited for that, but I'm actually really enjoying it. That wasn't the question. The question was, <laughs> am I where I thought I was gonna be at 20? I feel like when you're younger, when I was like 14, 13, 14, I really had it in my head that like in your 20s, like even early 20s, like, I'm gonna be with the person I'm gonna marry, like, obviously I was gonna be at uni, but I feel like you don't really think about that when you're younger, you're like, oh yeah, when I'm 20, obviously I'm gonna be, like, with the guy for, like, two years, and we're gonna be engaged, and, like, thinking about children, I'm gonna have my house, and, like, have a car, and, like, I don't know, like, all those big life changes like getting married and having kids and like getting a house and getting like a big time adult job and stuff I, you always associate that with your 20s and when i was a lot younger i think i would have thought that i was starting that now i'm definitely not i'm still a child like i'm actually still a child i guess i'm not where i thought i was gonna be at 20 but also i'm exactly where i thought i was gonna be at 20 if that makes any sense I need to get my eyelashes redone. They are embarrassing, but the whole country's in lockdown, so that's not gonna happen. And also, my acrylic nails. How do I get them off myself? Can someone please tell me in the comments how I can take my own acrylic nails off because they're really outgrown and funny enough, the nail shop is closed. Hello, Boris. Were you not thinking about girls with acrylic nails? Fake blondes, how am I meant to get my roots done? Luckily, I got them done like a month ago, but you would have been in serious trouble if I hadn't. Oh, this question's worded really funny. Do you have a boyfriend or any on the go? <laughs> on the go. Do I have a boyfriend? Absolutely not. And I don't want one anytime soon. These years are going to be about myself. Getting into a serious relationship right now would scare me because I just feel like this time of life, you have to prioritise yourself and only yourself. And you can't do that in a relationship. Like, you are constantly making decisions based off of both of you and there's nothing wrong with that like obviously if you love the person you're gonna do that and you're gonna want to do that like I did in my previous relationship like I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all that's just what you do in a relationship but I just think it's important in your like early 20s like when you're at uni like going out into the adult world to just only make decisions based off of yourself and to put yourself first always I think that is what we're gonna have to learn this year is how to kind of prioritize yourself and love yourself like seriously we gotta work on that you watching we gotta work on that that doesn't mean i can't date boys i'm just not looking for a serious relationship and love always finds you when you least expect it so never tell anyone you're looking for a relationship because god will hear that and then never let you have a boyfriend opinions on the third lockdown let's be honest it has to happen i'm glad he's finally finally shut schools because it was never going to get better if he was keeping schools open but it's almost march in two months we're in a worse position right now than we were last march that blows my mind how how have they handled this well i know how they've handled it but they've done it so badly 
that we are literally worse off now than we were almost a year ago when we all went into lockdown the first time. That is actually insane. Why is anyone allowed out of the country and back into the country unless surely unless you're going home to your actual like place of country of citizenship? Why are these influencers in Dubai? Can people stop going on holiday for a second? Some people think they're immune. That goes for everyone who had New Year's Eve parties. Is my nose contoured enough? Should I make it a bit skinnier? But the vaccine, there's hope, everyone. There is hope. Okay, so there's been a few questions, like things you wish you knew as a teenager and something you would tell your 15-year-old self. These are really interesting. I always love to hear what people say. It's quite a big one. I was not in a great place when I was 15. I must admit, I was just miserable. I can't believe I was 15 five years ago. So much has changed. I actually want to find a photo of me when I was 15. I don't really want to include any of these, but um, I'll put one on the screen. Um, this is me at 15. I don't really look like the 15 year olds look now. Isn't it scary how like old children look now? Like 16 year olds really do be looking 20, like older than me. What do I wish I'd known? I think just that being 15, 16, 17 is not your entire life. It's not, like things that happen during that time shape who you are 100%, but it's not your entire life. That stage is so intense. You're growing up, you're finding out who you are as a person, your friendships are changing, getting your first boyfriend or girlfriend, you're doing GCSEs and A-levels and you're having to choose these big, like make these big decisions for the rest of your life. Like what degree are you gonna do? And what A-levels are you picking? And what uni do you wanna go to? And like, I feel like there's so much pressure on you during that time of life to make decisions that you think are going to affect the rest of your life but they're not wow that is shiny yeah they're really not and i wish i just i wish i knew that that time of life ends and you do grow up and you find out who your real friends are and you meet new people and that one boy that you were in love with at 16 you weren't really in love with him being like 15 16 17 you just don't know anything like i didn't know anything and i, I probably will say that again in three years time of like oh, 20 i didn't know anything but you change so much in that time you change and you're actually finding out who you are and i think it's just important to realize that you you have to go through that and shit's gonna happen that is gonna feel like the smallest thing ever in five years time give it five years is it gonna matter no like are you gonna still think about it probably not and if you do you'll be like you know what i'm actually glad that happened because that made me this that taught me this lesson or i met this person through that do you know what i mean like everything in life is kind of just a lesson and that's especially true for those like years of your life because they're really important years yeah i don't know what i would tell my 15 year old self want to stop filling in her eyebrows with that bloody pencil i used to use because they were horrendous oh my god two to stop wearing those push-up bras because it was embarrassing we could all tell that that was a big push-up bra drama but um yeah the point is <laughs> what was the point great this has been such a good video wait a couple months and you gonna see you'll never find nobody better than me <laughs> okay do you know what? i'm gonna do my eyebrows and i'm gonna come back to you because i can't multitask and these i still can't do these even though i'm in my 20s now I will never be able to do my eyebrows well. So if anyone wants to help me, please let me know. And she's got eyebrows. Would you have thought? Who would have thought that? I'm really bad at makeup. Like, I really can't do anything with my eyeshadow ever. I'm actually significantly better at putting it on other people than I am on myself. Oh my god, do you know who I've been watching recently? <sighs> El Darby. Oh my god, I've never ever watched this woman before in my life. Until she got pregnant. Well, actually, until she got engaged. Her engagement video beautiful and now she's having a child and oh my god the pregnancy videos just make me ball my eyes out every time the one where she found out she was pregnant i was literally sat there crying for a solid 20 minutes afterwards and i just looked like i was having a breakdown because i wasn't even watching the video anymore it was really embarrassing it was just so beautiful and just really made me excited to have a child um so future husband if you're watching this I'm kidding. I don't want a child any time soon, but like, I'm just really excited to have one. And my friend Ellie, I'm sure I've said this before, my friend Ellie had a baby like four months ago or something now. She posts photos of him on her story on Instagram and oh, he's just the most beautiful baby in the entire world. And that is also making me extremely excited to have a baby. But don't worry, mother. 
not having a child anytime soon. Just put some mascara on my bottom lashes. This always trips me out because I always go to put it on my top lashes first. Then that would ruin them. I look really shiny. Now let's put some lip liner on. I always overline them too much and it looks embarrassing so I have to take it off. And now I'm going to put a little bit of gloss over the chalk. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to curl my hair and put some nicer clothes on. Um, purely to take a picture and then I'm going to take them straight back off again. But... Should we do a transition? We do a really cool transition. What should I do? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so rude. Three, two, one. Okay, I can't remember where the camera was. I've moved it. So that transition could have been really bad because it took me about six years to curl this hair. But it's finally done. And I've changed. I put a nice top on. I'm not going to lie. I'm still wearing tracksuits because I'm not going anywhere. So I really can't bother to change them. Um, but that is the end of the video. Let's have a drink to finish this off. I don't think there's anything left. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Cheers. I hope you've all had a nice week. Um, subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm 20 years old. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you next week.